Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your favorite Latvian. I hope you're doing well. I hope your week has started well. Mine has actually started quite nicely. I hope you can't really hear all the cars passing and all of that, but um, I am actually put on a garden leave. So what I do is plan more content for you guys. I actually am having a bit of a rest. I'm having a little bit of a processing time to kind of understand what has happened to me but yeah to those who might not know garden leave is basically i'm still employed by my current company however um they'll place me on this garden leave so i have no access to any kind of sensitive data or anything like that i've given away my laptop if there is anything that they need me to do um i'm reachable to them and i'm still getting paid for this time i'm just not really working so it's basically like a tiny little holiday so i actually finished my finished working for them earlier than i was supposed to due to different things that i might just discuss in other videos um but yeah as i said i will be starting my new job on 11th of April um, until then I'm pretty much free to create content for you and today I am back with a new video where I am going to be discussing my products that I've fallen in love recently I'm using all the time and that kind of good stuff though so that will include some beauty products some hair products some skincare products no not skincare products some body care products not really body care but yeah I'm just gonna share some of my recent favorites that I've been using and that I just that I just love today I'm also wearing a bare face I just have skincare on and two of the products that I'll be showing you guys. So, I think we should get into this. Should we? Shall we? Okay, so firstly, I will be starting with something that is kind of like a base product. Sorry, I just really think you will be able to hear cars outside of my house, but there is nothing I can do about it. Very sorry. And um, I'm going to start with like a foundation kind of things uh, that I've been fallen in love recently um, because we don't have to wear face masks anymore and during the time when we did have to wear face masks I was properly like powdering my face so my makeup would not smudge and there comes in my two favorite things which is obviously the double wear and the Bobbi Brown um, sheer pressed powder those are my to-go things um, I still love them I still use them and those are kind of like my staples the products that I always gonna reach for and will always wear on like a night out or something however i feel like the makeup industry has switched a little bit so we're working with more like cream products we're looking for that natural kind of look um and this is where it comes in these two products so so first of all i've been using this which is a um, product from it cosmetics it is cc cream it has uh, full coverage and it also has a hydrate hydration and i anti-aging um, ingredients uh, also SPF 50 which we love we need that in our lives and if it's already in a foundation we can't really ask for anything much more so yeah I've been loving this product and it is really nice it is actually almost empty so I'll have to order a new one the bottle looks really disgusting I actually had to clean it beforehand but the writing is kind of like yeah the writing is coming off so this is one of my this is one of the things that I do love, I do use, and it's quite nice to use it even like the under eye or you can probably see now areas where I have redness on my face. It completely covers it and I love it. The only issue that I would say, um, you, do, you do need to kind of powder under the eye because otherwise it's gonna stain the little creases um, under your eye, but that's fine. We still like to use a little bit of powder, don't we? And then, Moving on now to the next product um, is um, recently me and Brandon's mom and sister we went to St Albans and we went to, to this place it was something NK what was it NK let me just give a check all right so we went to Space NK and I wanted to speak to someone there because I wanted a product that is obviously like a covering, nice, a dewy kind of look, but I usually struggle with it because it doesn't give me the necessary coverage. 
and I'm just kind of, I'm, I'm quite oily myself. So I do struggle with that dewy look because even when I put on my double wear powder properly with Bobbi Brown, at the end of the day, everything is still gonna stay in place, but it's gonna start to look quite like greasy, oily, but not to the extent that it's like, what are you wearing? Although sometimes it does. You've seen that in my previous videos when I come up to work. But it doesn't look as bad in, in real life. So they gave me two samples. One of them was Charlotte Tilbury Foundation and the other one was a tinted moisturizer from NARS. And the tinted, tinted moisturizer, I've been loving it. I've been using it. I still have quite a lot left in there. Um, so this is definitely going to be something that I'm going to repurchase after next payday, which is I think this Thursday. So yeah, the tinted moisturizer by NARS, uh, it's been working really, really well for me. I'm not a fan of tinted moisturizers. So for me to say that I like this tinted moisturizer really, really kind of means something. Um, yeah, I've been loving this product and it's it's great. Then the third product that I'm going to talk about is lip pl lip product it is i think by soap and glory and it's called sexy mother pucker uh, extreme plum so it is going to have that tingly kind of feeling um, if you don't like it then this product won't be for you i've had this for a while it's just a clear lip gloss which is quite nice when you try to obviously outline your lip with a lip liner and then try to add some gloss on top of it um, so yeah, I've been co combining this with NYX lip liner. Um, I'm gonna put the lip liner on the side. I can't really remember which shades I have. Also, I don't know where I put it this weekend because I went over to Brandon's house. I took it with me, but I can't see it in my makeup bag. That is another of my favorites. But I'm just gonna put the kind of type of lip liner that I was using because even on that lip liner I was using it so much that the writing has come off so I can't even give you the shade that I'm usually using but yeah this um, this lip gloss is really really nice uh, to combine with any kind of lip liner that is kind of working with your shade also I recently saw on TikTok which I actually tried the color that you use for your brows is actually quite good to use as your lip liner and I tried it and it actually did quite well I actually use I think eyeshadow close to the shades um, that my brows are and then I put the lip gloss um, on top of it and it did look really nice don't question me on the eyeshadow bit I just didn't have my pomade I need to buy a new pomade but I've kind of been going more for like this natural brow look which I'm gonna be talking about later on as well but yeah so this is one of my faves um, using it all the time before this I was using NYX lip butter I think um, together with obviously that lip liner from NYX as well so I'm gonna put the lip liner on the side and yeah just so you know the combination that I'm kind of using maybe the shade is not going to be like on spot but at least you'll know which lip liner I'm talking about as I'm sure a lot of you guys are using it as well then moving on as I talked I am trying to go for more like a natural brow look I tried the brow lamination it didn't work for me because my brow hair are quite they're quite long so when they're all kind of put up my brows are twice as thick as they are now and I do feel like my brows are naturally quite thick um, and it just, yeah, the brow lamination just doesn't work for me. However, I did figure out that this product combined with me waxing the brow and then tinting the brow works really, really nicely together. So what I usually do on Sundays, which I didn't do this Sunday because obviously I'm not going into office. I'm gonna go ahead and leave as I said. But what I would usually do on Sundays is I would wax my eyebrows and then afterwards I would apply um, the eyebrow tint and then what I would do only what the only thing I would do with my brows would be applying this NYX the brow glue um, so yeah when I would be doing my eyebrows um, in the morning when I'm applying the rest of the makeup I would be literally just brushing through my brows with this NYX the brow glue um, it's also applied uh, on me now I'm not sure if you can see Sorry, I don't want to use my, I don't want to wrinkle my forehead, but I've kind of have it on now. It's very natural. I don't really 
I don't really like to stick up my brows too much because as I said, my brow hair are quite long. That's why I also kind of cut them here at the top because otherwise it looks a little bit ridiculous. So another product that I love um, and it just works for me. Then I think that's all from like kind of beauty products. Um, nothing much, literally just the foundations. What did we discuss? The foundations, um, so it's the It Cosmetics CC Cream, the NARS Tinta Moisturizer, and then from the lip products, it was a Soap and Glory um, lip gloss and NYX lip liner, and then for the brows, the NYX, uh, what's it called? The NYX, um, the brow glue from NYX. So that's for the face. Moving on, I'm going to be, I'm just looking at the products now, I'm going to be talking about the hair care. In October, I went to hairdressers. That's the last time when I've been to hairdressers and I know I need to go to hairdressers again because I'm turning quite dark. Um, but yeah, the hairdresser used on my hair all the flex and I have this issue, I don't know if you might do too, but therefore I'm gonna share my experiences. I have this issue when I wash my hair, it's quite hard for me to, um, brush my hair afterwards they're quite tangled and they're tangled in specifically in one area which is here like the back of my hair um, and it's very hard to brush through it and obviously you also need to be quite gentle when you brush wet hair because they're stretchy and it's yeah you can just ruin your hair so she added some of the Olaplex products when she was washing my hair and then she added something afterwards and Yes, it was still a little bit hard to brush them. She was quite careful, but it was way easier to brush the hair after she put the Olaplex products in my hair. So then in November, I was like, okay, Black Friday is coming. I want to buy the full set of Olaplex and I did buy it. I bought it from Look Fantastic, I think, and included like the full range of Olaplex products apart from the blue shampoo, which I bought separately. So I tried all of them. I tried the thing that you put in your hair before uh, before you wash your hair, like the liquidy thing. And then there is another number that you put in on your hair afterwards. And then you obviously wash it out. And then obviously like shampoo, conditioner. And they also have a mask. And then there are two products that you use afterwards um, after you obviously wash the face, uh, face mask, hair mask out and all of that. So obviously my favorites so obviously my favorites really have been the Olaplex um, shampoo and conditioner. As you can see, they're literally empty. I need to buy new ones, but they really do. Sorry, I'm just gonna show it this way because that's how I keep them because there's just not so much left. So these are really my favorites um, and they've lasted me since November. So although I think each of them costs like 26 pounds, I think they do last longer than just a normal drugstore uh, shampoo. Um, so yeah, and they've been they've been working great for me. It just feels like they're fuller, if that makes sense. So yeah, definitely, definitely the shampoo and conditioner are working really, really great for me. Then moving on to other Olaplex things that I've been using, um, I need to talk about the blue shampoo. I've uh, been using the blue shampoo as well, but I would suggest to be quite careful with it. I do love it. It keeps that blonde shade that you kind of want, but I wouldn't use them at the every single wash time because it can tint your hair quite on the bluer side. And also if you use it and if you don't want your hands to turn a bit like dead like, uh, well, a little bit blue, then um, I would suggest you use some kind of gloves. But to be honest, I don't really mind. It comes off fairly easily for me at least. Um, and that's why I apply it without any kind of gloves. But yes, I wouldn't use it. Wouldn't, I wouldn't use this shampoo at every single wash time because your hair will turn blue. And well, if you're kind of going for it, yeah, use it every single wash time. But I don't necessarily want that. I just want to keep that nice blonde look uh, without actually turning blue. So definitely a good blue shampoo and definitely uh, has been working for me better than other uh, blue shampoos that I've used before. Then moving on to the hair products that I used after obviously I washed my hair and it is this Olaplex number no. seven bonding oil and Olaplex 
number six bond smoother both of these sorry i'm just keeping it this way as well so it's easier to get it out um i guess i need to keep it this way uh, both of these are great i love them um however i want to mention something about Olaplex number six bond smoother um it, it it has quite a creamy texture so you need to be careful not to apply too much on your hair because it will have that greasy feeling afterwards and it will feel like you need to wash your hair again i know that other people use it um later on in the week when for example you feel like your end of the hair are getting a bit drier and things like that and you kind of want to smooth smoothen them out and um, then I've heard the people do put it in their hair afterwards and kind of like um, use a hair dryer to kind of shape them and make them smooth again but um, yeah I would be quite careful with how much you use this one so this combination will really help you to brush your hair um, at least it has helped me. It's way easier to brush through after I've washed my hair and I don't really have that issue with like, the big chunk of hair tangling in the back of my hair. Uh, but yeah, so very, very good, but be careful of how much you use the number six. And the last thing that I'm going to talk about, it's not really like a body care thing, um, it, but it is something that you apply to your body and it is the fake tanner. Uh, I'm not really a girl who, who fake tans uh, that often, however I do sometimes like to be a little bit more brown than I am because I am naturally a very fair person. Um, so yes, I found that um, this, it's nourishing body, um, it is visible glow self tan lotion. It's been working really well for me. It's like a moisturizer, so you won't really see it straight away as you apply it, as you would do with other, um, as you would do with other fake tanners. I've used um, other ones before, but I've kind of come to the decision that this is something that I really like. I use. I'm happy with it. This is almost empty. That's why again I'm holding it like this, and I have a new one purchased um, in my drawer. So. Yeah, this is definitely um, one of the things that I love and this one is in fair to medium shade and um, I would definitely suggest you to use this if you're not really a pro in fake tanners and if you want to just try something out that's kind of like easier to apply and um, you will potentially, you won't really go wrong with this, you can't really go that much wrong with this. Um, I haven't really experienced like dark elbows or knees or areas around ankles obviously still do the same thing still exfoliate um, before you apply it and all of that but this one is really really good and i like it so i think that's all for today's video i've taken you through some of my favorites and things that i've been using quite a lot recently so i'll try to link them below um so that you can have a little look, have a little browse. Maybe you have seen something that you would like to try out too, uh, but that's everything. Also, I wanted to let you know that, yes, this video is going up on Tuesday, hopefully. Um, however, I will be changing my posting times closer to the weekend. Um, and just wanted to give you an update on that. But um, for now, I'm gonna say bye. If you like this video, please click the like button. Please um, subscribe to my channel and leave a comment if you wish. And um, have a lovely week. I hope your week's gonna be great. It's already Tuesday, but um, we still have Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. And obviously then it's already weekend and we can relax. But yeah, that's all from me. And I see you guys soon. Bye.